The first step of installation is to tag the sensors. The tagging process allows the user to identify each sensor through the mobile application with specific names. To do so, the user must create a project followed by a section in the Smart Lock mobile app. The user can create multiple sections within a project and tag multiple sensors in each section. To tag a new sensor, the user must first activate it by twisting the two metal wires together, then select New Sensor at the bottom of the sensor page. The application will then scan for nearby sensors. Then you can select the sensor and give it a name of your choice. Then you can write the name on the white label of the sensor. We recommend to untwist the two metal wires to preserve the battery of the sensor until site installation. From this point forward, the newly tagged sensor will be visible in the application. Please note, you can edit the name at a later stage. The tagging process must be done for one sensor at a time. These steps must be repeated for each sensor that the user would like to use in their project. We recommend tagging the sensors in the office. To ensure good wireless Bluetooth signal performance from the sensor, it is important to follow the following site installation guidelines. The black box, which contains the wireless antenna, must be installed on the rebar at a maximum of 5 centimeters below the concrete surface. This will ensure a Bluetooth range up to 8 meters. In the case where the concrete cover exceeds 5 centimeters, it is suggested to use plastic spacers or any other objects that can help position the sensor at an appropriate depth within 5 centimeters from the concrete surface. Smart Rock is designed to be fully embedded in the concrete. This helps prevent any potential damage to the Smart Rock components after the pour, such as harsh compacting or surface finishing machines on the construction site. Alternatively, the black box can be left outside the concrete, which will increase the wireless Bluetooth signal up to 25 meters. In the case where the black box is left outside of the concrete, we recommend attaching a yellow ribbon to the black box to caution site workers of its location. The black box needs to be secured to the rebar with the white label facing towards the closest concrete surface. It is recommended to place Smart Rock on the intersection of the rebar for better stability. During the installation, the two metal wires must be twisted together to ensure a secure installation and strong wire connection to activate the sensor. Using pliers can ease the twisting process and can provide a tighter wire connection. In the case where pliers aren't practical, it is recommended to cover the hand twisted wires with tape. Once the smart rock has been secured to the rebar via the wires, the use of tape or plastic zip ties to further secure the black box to the rebar is strongly advised. This will ensure that the smart rock remains in its upright position during the concrete pour. Similarly, the temperature cable can be secured to the underneath of the rebar with tape or plastic zip ties. Please avoid using metal rebar ties for securing the temperature cable, as this may damage the cable. In some cases, including those where metal formworks are used, a thick layer of water or any other medium exists on the concrete surface, the Bluetooth signal could be impeded. In these cases, please position the sensors mindfully or contact Geotech support or your local dealer for more guidance. Once the Smart Rock sensor has been tagged and securely installed, it is important to wirelessly connect to the sensor via the mobile application prior to the concrete pour to make sure the sensor is active. Also, it is recommended to connect to the sensor soon after the pour to make sure the signal is visible and the installation was successful. Make sure to watch the third part of this video training which will cover all you need to know about the Smart Rock mobile application.